Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about breach delivery. What is breach presentation? It is a malpresentation, longitudinal lie in which bottom of the baby is the presenting part. What are the types of breach presentation? We have complete breach, also called flux breach, footling breach, the frank breach, also called extended breach. What are the predisposing factors for abnormal lie or the breach presentation? Those include fibroid uterus, congenital abnormalities of the uterus, uterine surgery, oligo or polyhydramnios, multiple gestation, abnormality, for example, and encaphaly and hydrocephalus. What factors decrease the incidence of breach presentation and LSCS? Those include external cephalic version, moxie version, and different types of the breach maneuvers. What should be the mode of delivery in case of breach presentation? The delivery options include spontaneous vaginal delivery, the breach extraction as is done in the case of the second twin, assisted vaginal delivery in case of the breach, and cesarean section in which smelly incision is given. What are the complications of vaginal breach delivery? The maternal complications include trauma to the birth canal. The fetal complications include fracture of the femur and humerus, brachial plexus injury, dislocation of hips, cord prolapse, cord compression, visceral injury, arrest of after coming head of the breach, intracranial hemorrhage or tendorial tears, and the head entrapments. The risk of the cord prolapse is highest in case of the footling breach. Now we will discuss the procedure of breach delivery. So first of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and explain the whole condition to the couple and rule out any contraindications to vaginal breach delivery by taking history and examination and take an informed consent. After fulfilling all the prerequisites and in the presence of the senior staff, pediatrician and anesthetist, I will go for vaginal breach delivery. Before starting the procedure, I will check the fetal heart rate. In the presence of adequate light analgesia, I will put the patient in lithotomy position. After gowning and gloving, I will clean the vulva with aseptic solution and drain the bladder. Then I will do appropriate pelvic examination to assess the position of the presenting parts. At climbing of the breech, I will give an episiotomy in CN. The buttocks will deliver with the lateral flexion of the body spontaneously. Then I will hold the buttocks in one hand and assess the attitude of the legs with the other hand. If the legs are flex, they will deliver spontaneously or I will hook them out. If they are extended, then I will perform the peanut maneuver in which I will put my one finger in the popliteal fossa and flex the knee joint with the other hand and deliver the leg. The other leg will be delivered in the same fashion. Body will descend further with a uterine contraction till umbilicus. Then I will wrap the baby in the warm, moist towel and will check the cord if it is tight. I will loosen it then. While keeping the back anterior, body will be delivered with a uterine contraction till the inferior angle of the scapula becomes visible. Then I will assess the attitude of the arms. If they are flaxed, they will deliver spontaneously or I will hook them out if they are extended. I will perform the low set maneuver in which I will rotate the body to 180 degree keeping back anterior with the same downward traction and bring posterior shoulder anteriorly under pubic symphysis and deliver it. Then I will rotate it in the opposite direction keeping back anterior and deliver the other shoulder. The baby will descend further with the uterine contractions, keeping back anterior till the nape of the neck become visible and then the head will deliver, ideally by the piper forceps or by burn marshal or by morris mully with many words. So here you can see the use of piper forceps to deliver the head of the breech. This is burn marshal maneuver to deliver the head of the baby in case of the breech. And the third maneuver is that of the morris mully with many words as you can see here. Once the baby is delivered, I will wipe the mouth of the baby and give injections in tocinone to the mother. Cut the cord between two clamps and hand over the baby to pediatrician. Then I will deliver the placenta and examine it completely for its membranes and completeness. Then I will stitch a episiotomy if, if it is given and look for any genital tract trauma and repair it if it is present. 
In the end, I will completely examine the patient, give her vaginal pad, cover her and shift her to the recovery room. Then I will write down the detailed notes with the date, time and my signature. So thank you so much. That was all about breach delivery. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.